I voted Leave, and I even wrote a article in the Sun, which I'm not wholly proud of, but uh, that was, you know, they put a typically inflammatory headline on it, and uh, I was um, not passionately pro Leave, and I think that's true probably of half the country, if I'm honest. I think I think what's become apparent, really clear, is that there's a sort of wing of pretty ardent Remainers and a wing of pretty ardent Leavers. And then there was this vast swathe, I'd say probably half the country in the middle, who genuinely didn't quite know. They were wrestling with it. And we looked at the arguments, but as we now realise, we didn't get presented with all the arguments. Uh, There were definitely lies in the mix. I think uh, Lee presented a lot more lies than the Remain camp did. Uh, I think that's become abundantly clear. And I fell for them, if I'm honest. I, I went with it. What was the one thing that really brought you over to the Leave side? What would that one thing be? Yeah, for me, it was very clearly this airy, dismissive, wonderful magic wand that we would suddenly strike all these international trade deals around the world, just like that. And it has proved to be Codswallop, absolute rubbish. Now, there are a whole lot of other lies fed into the mix as well, like we know about the funding, the EU units for sending £350 million a day, all this sort of stuff. Um, and Turkey joining the uh, EU, all those sorts of things uh, were fed into the mix. But for me, there were leavers, prominent leavers, David Davis, Liam Fox, uh, and others who were just airily saying, oh, we're going to strike all these trade deals. Now, I'm an internationalist. I I was not a little Englander. Um, I travelled all over the world, and I was excited at the prospect that we might be able to... Um, have what we have with the EU, but just on an international global scale. But it is rubbish, and I have been completely disabused of this. I realise now that you don't just strike trade deals. You don't just make them. And none of these people, none of these ministers have any business experience, with the possible exception of Jeremy Hunt, who was a Remainer. They're not business people. They don't know how trade deals are done. And what they were saying was an absolute pack of lies. It is really hard to get a trade agreement.